interesting story. I don't, I don't know if this is news. I, I think it's news. I feel as though it's news because now more than ever in professional wrestling, a business that has had a lot of people in it for a long time, like, you know, forever with, with, with histories of, of social and, and mental illness and anxieties and disorders and all that sort of stuff. The reason that it's been taking place in wrestling forever, it's because it's been taking place forever with everyone. It's just seemingly in the last couple of years, we've have been able to shine a light, uh, a bright light onto professional wrestling and many of the people involved with it coming out and talking about their problems and talking about some of the things that they've gone through and former AEW tag team champion Dax Harwood opened up about some of those uh, struggles that he has had in his life on the latest edition of Renee Paquette's The Sessions podcast, including a story about how Shawn Michaels embarrassed him after what he thought was a heartfelt conversation between the two. This is a this is a very long interview. Uh, I would say very long interview. It's nearly an hour long. Uh, Harwood really opens up about a, a lot of things, uh, you know, about being growing up heavy, being a lineman. But this is something I can relate to, being a lineman and being undersized and trying to put on weight and then putting on a whole lot of weight, playing football, and then you don't drop that weight. You know, and he talks about blowing up to two. 285 pounds and then a buddy of his that was going through some issues moved in with him and he caught his buddy one day purging throwing up outside his buddy was overweight the, the same way and he said this is what i'm trying to, to do to take some weight off and then got to the point where harwood was doing it and then doing it every day and if he didn't do it every day it didn't feel good and a lot of people don't they don't think about that with men they don't think about it they, they it comes up with women a lot because of the modeling industry and, and things like that but when it comes to men purging it's one of those things that's not really talked about a whole lot it's not you know really paid attention to a whole lot he talks about some of the struggles uh, that i think we can all relate to those of us who have kids you know especially those of us who have been out there in our lives and maybe had too much fun maybe did a lot of the the things you you shouldn't have did and and done things uh that, that you you regret you know and and you think about the mistakes that your kids are going to grow up with, and you think about the the image issues that you have and some of the 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 introspection that you have amongst yourself and the things that you don't like and those things being you know happening to your kids by having your kids get made fun of having your kids be pointed at and laughed at for how they look or or whatever and he talks about all the anxiety and i thought it was a great great interview and it really is very open, talks about his wife's miscarriage being the trigger point for some of his anxiety where he couldn't sleep. And you know, he's going into this match with the Young Bucks and he, he just he couldn't sleep and and just a lot of stuff. And I really you know, I really would would suggest people hear it. And I don't want to I don't think I'm doing anything. This clip has been out there uh, because of the content of it. So I don't think that Renee Paquette's going to get too upset about this. And again, I strongly urge people to check this show out, listen to it and just listen to a guy's story and just listen to this uh, again, just, you know, outside of the wrestling ring, you know, this human being talking about some of the stuff that he's gone through. But I, I've got this clip and Dom's going to play it right now for you about this situation that he had with Shawn Michaels. And I will say this, I'll, I'll talk about it more afterwards, but it is, it's very disappointing, that is for sure. And, uh, and Dom, go ahead and play the clip now, let people hear it. And this is Dax uh, Harwood talking about uh, his uh, conversations with Shawn Michaels, both before and after Raw 25, where he and, and Cash Wheeler were laid out, FTR was laid out, the Revival, I'm sorry, were, were laid out at the hands of DX and the Balor Club. So go ahead and play that now, Dom. That happened, and I talked to Sean. And I was like, Off mic, I'll pop in when there's like 10 seconds left. And I told him, like, I was like, man, this happened. Tore my bicep. I went through a really dark period. I thought I was going to quit. But thankfully, just like I've told you, I had the greatest wife in the world, and she has supported me, and she brought me out of this funk. And, like, she brought me out of a dark place, and I'm here now, and I'm super happy. And he said, I was the same way. I was in this very dark spot. I met my wife. She's beautiful. She pulled me out of this dark spot too. And I was like, oh, that's so awesome. He said, look, 
you and your partner are way too talented to be doing what you're doing tonight. You're way too talented to stay at this point. Just keep your nose to the ground and keep grinding and you're going to get over it. Like, oh man, Sean, thank you so much. And so we had this bonding moment. And then we got in front of his friends, X-Pac and Hunter and Billy and Road Dog and Scott. And as soon as we got in front of his friends, he started making fun of me and making fun of my situation and what happened with my bicep. And I was like, man, I just poured my heart out to you. And as soon as we get in front of your friends, because we're going over, you know, they're going to be of us. You decide to take all that stuff and make fun of me about it. And I never, ever forgot it. And um, as soon as we were done with the business at Raw, one person said thank you to us. And it was Sean Waltman. Everyone else was so cold to us and treated us like we were just like the on the bottom of their shoes, except for Sean Waltman. And I'll never forget that for Sean. And I hope that there's a day that comes that we can have a conversation and sit down and I can ask him why he did that. And we can reconcile if he wants to. But yeah, if I love you, I love you. If I don't, I don't. And there you go, Dex Harwood. Uh, speaking about thinking that he had a real bonding moment uh, with Shawn Michaels. And then when Michaels was in front of his, his friends and uh, they started making fun of Harwood's bicep injury and, and other issues that he had, the only person that thanked he and uh, Cash were, were was X-Pac and... Uh, there's that. And, uh, I, you know, and I'm stammering and stuttering about a lot of this, too, because I've had, you know, my as one could probably tell by just looking at me and hearing me every day, you know, been through some things. It's been a long road to get here. And, uh, you know, professional wrestling has been one of those things I've been able to hide in problem with some of that is when professional wrestling starts to turn on you and you do it for a job sometimes then you know it's not fun anymore those pressures are on you and there's a it's a you don't make a lot of money doing this sort of stuff and there's you know it's it, it can be hell and being inside your own head can be hell and i'd like to maybe think that maybe maybe there was a miscommunication maybe maybe michael's Dax took it wrong. Maybe Michaels, I'm trying to come up with an excuse that Michaels doesn't come off looking like a dick. And this is the guy that's running NXT. And I guess it's cool, you know, if you're, you know, Carmelo and he's all on your side. But if you're not, I mean, damn. And, and I guess, you know, and I again, I don't know if this is news because he's head of NXT or not. I don't know if this is news because it, it's two guys in the wrestling business who have this type of disagreement, but it's like, man, I want to I want to see how somehow this isn't true, but then, then I think I'd be calling Dax a liar. And uh, I don't think he is. Hopefully they can work it out, though. Favorite quote from The Simpsons. Can you do an impression? Sure. Okay, so... Uh... Bart was doing some road cleanup, and he said, Hey, Krusty, what are you doing here? And Krusty says, uh, It's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. That was a very good impression, Craig. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's all part of my glug, glug, vroom, vroom, thunk, thunk. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.